Hello and welcome to the first Morgan's Miles. I'm Tim and this is a new channel. This is a new adventure for me. So um, I thought I'd best let you see what my fleet is all about. So in this corner of the garage, we've got my wife's 1964 Hillman Imp. Uh, we've had this since ooh, uh, 2000 and four, five-ish. Um, we rescued it from a, um, a field where it had been sat for about eight, nine years doing nothing. And it looked fairly similar to as it does at the moment, a little bit tired and a little bit unhappy. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it, it, it needs a little bit of TLC at the moment. And we'll, uh, it's off to Jeff Day very shortly over at uh, Westbound Restorations and he is going to uh, give it a few little bits and pieces that need doing mainly that wheel arch if we're all being honest um, and give it a, a fresh coat of paint because the paint has gone a bit yuck. Anyway, taking a step backwards, this here is Pelly. This is our 1976 in basic. Now, I've had this car definitely since 2004. Uh, 2000 and no, I'm getting it wrong. 2000 and <gasps> ooh, crikey, time flies. Um, this car uh, was given to me by a guy who'd bought it for his uh, daughter to use as her first car. She'd taken it to uh, Exeter University um, and had had a great time down there with it. She qualified and she decided that she wanted something a bit nicer than 1976 Hillman Basic. Um, he scrawled it away in uh, the place that he worked, which was a power station of all places. So it was lovely and dry and um, yeah, it didn't fall to bits, but then his boss got the ump with it and it had to go. So he gave it to me on the premise that you know, I could just turn it into spares or whatever. And anyway, it, it, <laughs> all these years later, we've still got it. It's been restored once um, and it was color changed to this, which is Aquarius Metallic. Um, again, Jeff Day did that um, and it has lower half wings by him, uh, front and back on both sides. Believe it or not, the, the sills are actually the original ones um, from when it was made. That's actually uh, wax oil that's leaked out down there. Um, and uh, we've since found out that this is actually the last Imp Basic that ever left the uh, production line at Linwood. So it's quite a historic vehicle, I guess. Um, it's had a fair amount of modification work done over the years. It's wearing Australia alloys and it's lowered and uprated suspension. And inside it has a pair of, um, they're actually XR3i seats um, because the original seats were about as comfortable as sitting on buckets, really. Horrible things. Um, it also originally had rubber mats rather than carpets, so I've put carpets in it. It's got a stiletto steering wheel in it because, well, because. Um, it's got rear seat belts for my little friend, um, and it's wearing a sport engine lid for extra cooling because over here underneath that rather disgusting cloth, I reveal this. That is my freshly built 998cc engine that is going to be going back in there in very short order. It's had uh, the machine work done by Mark Maynard and I assembled it. So it probably will go pop when I put it on when I first start it because <laughs> I'm bound to have forgotten something. But uh, currently it's running its original engine from uh, not from the factory, but from the dealer. Um, that's actually, it's an L6 um, motor unit, but it's actually because it has no 
um, uh, engine number on it, it had under warranty uh, a problem with the bottom end, so it had a replacement engine. But otherwise, uh, unfortunately, I, when I first got it, it had its original alternator, which had just here, it had a, a sticker saying Mopar, which was really cool. Unfortunately, um, that went the way of all good things. And uh, yeah, great shame, but there you go. Um, yeah, this car has been to Budapest and back. Um, in 2004, we took it to Budapest and it, uh, with a bunch of other like-minded loonies, and uh, we raised 10 grand for cancer research. Um, it's very special to me. I've had it a very long time. And um, yeah, it's part of the family, really. Sky, as I say, is owned by my wife. She got it um, where it had been sat in a field for eight years. Um, it was restored originally by uh, CCK down in Kent, by Sean. Um, and it's had literally no work done on the bodywork since, apart from a sill on the other side. So the paint, and it's lived outside for most of that time. So unfortunately the paint has really fallen to bits since. Um, this car has been to all four corners of the country from uh, the West Country right up to um, uh, the Highlands, into Wales, you name it, we've been there in this car. It's done a gazillion miles. When I got it, or rather when she got it, um, it was just a bare shell. So it had no engine. Now the engine that's in this is an L4 uh, late model engine. Um, this came out of quite simply one of the worst cars I've ever owned. Um, the body shell of which literally folded up on the way home, um, driving it along the M. Uh, three it was and uh, I found myself uh, it, it seemed to be lowering itself but it wasn't it was actually the seat falling through the floor uh, it was absolutely an appalling thing but the engine was good so um, it's had the the original head gasket let go about 10 years ago 10 12 years ago uh, purely because not because it overheated but because the um, uh, the actual gasket rotted between uh, the fire rings and so the fire wings started uh, distorting. Um, it still got us home. That was the amazing thing about this car. It always got us home. So, um, all the interior is currently stripped out. Um, let's see if we can get you inside. Really plonk. Uh, there's a bit of surface rust on the floor, but it's not too bad. And um, the actual floors themselves are in really good order and the sills are all in really good order. Um, I repainted the floors in cellulose about, hmm, must be a good 10 years ago now. Um, and they've held up pretty well, considering that this car has always leaked like a sieve. Um, it had some really, really poor quality um, uh, windscreen seals supplied um, by, by various people um, so much so that if you look there that's actually it's actually rusted underneath the um, the seal because it's actually got through from there underneath and grotted all of that out and so that's part of the job just on the subject of screen rubbers this is the original screen rubber for this car from when it was made in 1976 now it has split there, get you in focus, there you go, that is where the, the screen uh, bonding, the screen rubber bonding has split here. But believe it or not, unless you drive in heavy rain and it kind of comes through that little hole that's there, it doesn't leak. And you check the corners, Whee. get the, my, my gimbal is in, in shot there said the actress of the bishop. The actual rubber is actually still really, really good. Those are the original horse light seals from when it was brand new. These are the original rear 
rubbers from when it was brand new and they're still good. So, you know, I'm sorry I don't buy it that we can't make rubber products that work because we clearly could once upon a time. Anyway, rent over. Well, that's the two cars in the garage, Pelly and Sky, um, 64 and 76 uh, respectively. They're not the only two cars that um, I have, um, certainly not the only two cars that are in the house. Uh, there's also another car that is currently living over at a, a local car dealership um, I need to go and pick up at some point. Mm. Um, I will introduce that one later on. Uh, we also have got a VW T4 camper that we absolutely adore. Um, that lives over at a storage yard and again I'll introduce her another time but let's go out to the garden and uh, I'll show you two of the other cars that are in the collection. Currently sat on the driveway here is this 1968 Stiletto. Um, I am waiting for it to be taken away by its new owner. Um, it's uh, in need of quite considerable restoration work and uh, the new guy is going to uh, complete that because it's uh, sadly a little beyond me. Um, all the interior currently is stripped out um, but it does have what's best described as a uh, oh, nice creak from the suspension a little bit of rust damage underneath the back seat which um, all because the back window, as can be seen here, leaks like a sieve, which unfortunately um, stilettos are very prone to. We're back to screen rubbers again, unfortunately, but uh, it is what it is. Um, the car itself has been off the road for a very, very, very long time. Um, I believe it was last on the road in the late 90s, um, previously in Wales. So uh, uh, I hope that one day I'll see it at uh, a national weekend completely finished. Till then, uh, it's sat on my drive filling up with water. Not great. And under this rather pretty little silver cover is Gracie, our 1967 Imp Super. Um, Pretty much an everyday use car until very recently, um, but uh, sadly at the moment she's a square wheeled. She's had a couple of problems with the transmission, which I will get around to doing at some point. Till then, unfortunately, she needs to stay under her nice little cover. Hmm. There's one other car, um, and it's actually my everyday driver, especially at this time of year. It, that uh, you may know from uh, Furious Driving. If you're a fan of Matt's videos, hello Matt, I hope you're well. Um, I took uh, Matt's Mondeo off him about a year ago. Um, the car had been sat for hmm, uh, eight years, I think it was. Um, and Matt, over the course of a uh, few videos which you can find on YouTube, um, rescued the Moldeo as he called it um, and transformed it into something that had been living under a bush into a usable car again. I've actually been using it ever since every day. Um, unfortunately it kind of no longer really fits with the fleet um, so I am looking to try and find a new home for it. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'll uh, take you for a drive in it in a minute and uh, you can see what it's all about. All right. So, welcome to a drive in my 1998 1.8 LX Ford Mondeo. This car has been absolutely brilliant. Um, I have absolutely loved owning this car. Um, it starts first time every morning. It's 
right here. Although, unfortunately, the jammed on the, the um, windscreen, which is a little annoying, but we'll just we'll go with it. It's quick enough for what it is, comfortable, and with the god awful roads that there are in the UK. Right corner, you see good. Well, I had hoped that I'd be able to use the audio off the camera, but uh, I think I was on a hiding to nothing on that one. Uh, sadly, the uh, built-in camera uh, microphone really wasn't picking up my voice very well, and uh, I'll spare you with the sort of whole horrible grumbly rumbly noises in the background, so I faded it down a bit. Anyway, what I was actually saying here was that uh, back in the day there were millions of these cars on the UK roads. There was a reason for it. They were brilliant. Um, I used to use them a lot as a hire car. Um, I was a motoring journalist and we used to use these for going up and down the country, going to photo shoots, usually loaded with uh, slightly curly sandwiches, dog-eared uh, notebooks and uh, slightly grumpy photographers. Hello to all the lovely photographers I used to work with. Um, and they just got on with it. Um, I did literally tens of thousands of miles in these cars and uh, when I uh, got this one from Matt I was reminded quite of how brilliant they are to drive. They're comfortable, they're smooth, um, they're not the best on fuel. I mean I, I went from owning a, a TDR, it was actually golf engined um, VW product and um, you know, I was used to doing sort of 50, 55 miles the gallon-ish, and uh, well, the uh, the Mondeo does about 30, so it was a little bit of a culture shock, but um, it's been super reliable over the last 12 months. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, hacking backwards and forwards across uh, the Midlands in it, um, and it just still does what it was supposed to do all those years ago. Um, and when you look at the, the spec sheet for the base model uh, Mondeo of the time, and this is the base model Mondeo of its time, um, you know, it's got power steering, it's got heated front and rear windows, it's got air conditioning, it's got electric windows on the front, hasn't got them on the back. Um, it, the, the seats are so comfy, it's at 60, mile, 60 70 mile an hour. It's whisper quiet inside. The only thing that gives the game away of it being a little bit old is the uh, um, the, the screen, se you know, the, the wind noise around the seals isn't quite up there with a modern car, but it's not far off. Um, this particular example, the uh, heater is jammed on the uh, screen, which is useful for uh, demisting and all the rest of it, but. Uh, I think when I get to the uh, summer, like I did last time, I, uh, last year rather, I did find it was a little bit of a, a challenge uh, keeping it cool, so that will need uh, resolving, but the windows work well on it. Um, also the stereo doesn't work, uh, I have just no idea what's wrong with it, it only works in one speaker. Anyway. Um, that's enough of my waffling about the uh, car. It's, I think it's brilliant, and uh, I will be sad to see it go. But it no longer fits the fleet. Um, I've got another large car that I've got to go and pick up very, very shortly, and uh, so it really does need to go. So, uh, if anyone's actually looking for one, please get in touch because uh, I'd love it to go to a good home. Anyway. I'm going to stop talking and I'll let you get back to the action. So there you go, that's uh, the X-Furious driving Mondeo, um, covered in muck because it gets used every day, and uh, bird poo because 
it lives on this driveway and they like roosting up there. But, uh, but yeah, she's a lovely old thing. And uh, a bit of furious driving. <laughs> no idea what that is. Um, but yeah, furious driving sticker in the back. And it still has in there, it still has the creature that got stuck somehow in that light unit. We still don't know quite how. It's, uh, it's kind of part of the car now. But yes, that's her. Love the old thing. Well, there you go. That's a look at the Morgan fleet. Well, at least some of it. Um, there's still the, the VW T4 camper that I'll introduce you to at another time. And there's another car that is a very new one to the fleet. Uh, should be arriving mm, soon. And I'll do an introduction video for that one as well because it's a lovely old thing. And uh, yeah, proper classic credentials on that one. Anyway, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe on the buttons below. And uh, I'll see you in another video soon. So uh, be seeing you.